In a culture where logic and reason have been discarded, the truth of Holy Mother Church is still very much alive. Fill your soul with the truth of the Holy Catholic faith. Get your premium account at churchmilitant.tv today and discover the truth. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. When a Catholic bishop who is given care of souls does just the opposite, then he is a wicked bishop. What New York Cardinal Timothy Dolan has done in welcoming gays officially into the parade, celebrating one of the most revered saints in the church, is pure diabolical. That's right, Your Eminence, someone has got to say it to you flat out because apparently the people around you won't. You are in the grip of the devil. You continue to be a nonstop source of scandal for the faithful, both in what you do and in what you fail to do. You have in this case given your blessing to an organized group of souls publicly celebrating their sodomy, their mortal sin, in a parade that celebrates the sanctity of a man who converted a nation away from paganism. What you are doing is evil, and if you can't see that, then you are blind. You give your approval to sin, public approval to mortal sin from a church man. You have done this before, but never on so grand a scale. You give active homosexuality a free pass in your archdiocese. You are not fit to be a successor of the apostles. You sully the bride of Christ with your wickedness. You invite the most anti-Catholic man ever to hold the White House to a public dinner, even after other bishops and cardinals made private appeals to you to rescind the invitation, you went ahead with it. You go on national television and distort the gospel of our blessed Lord Jesus Christ with your horrible comments about gay football player Michael Sam, saying bravo to his sodomy. What the hell is wrong with you? What other conclusion can people who love the church draw other than you don't? To everyone who cares about the church, looking in from the outside, it looks like you no longer believe the Catholic faith. Because, as you know, there is no such thing as a partial Catholic. You're either all in or not. But you and other wicked people in the church have allowed an attitude to grow, an atmosphere to come to life where people think they are free to pick and choose whatever they want from the commandments of God. Do you think you have any chance of escaping hell when you die if you don't repent of all of this before your death? Do you even believe in hell? You cavort with child-killing politicians. You give them shout-outs at the holy sacrifice of the Mass. You go on national television to an audience of millions and practically mock the idea of ever preaching against the sins of the flesh. The sins that the Mother of God revealed to the seers at Fatima are what most people go to hell for. And in the area of what you do not do, you do not support faithful Catholics who want some sanity in their parish, free from all the modernist deformations you celebrate. Instead, you threaten to close their parishes. You do not make a clear, definitive statement in support of Jesus Christ when standing with the followers of the false religion of Islam. You confuse the faithful about the nature of Islam by your silence. You will not come out and call it for what it is, a heresy, a false religion. Islam denies the divinity of Christ. It rejects the Holy Trinity. Muslims do not possess supernatural faith. And knowing all this, you publicly encourage followers of this false religion to remain in it. How dare you parade, now literally parade, around New York in the red robes of a bishop meant to signify the death you would happily undergo to preserve the flock, when in reality, far from preserving them from death, you are actually bringing death to them. You need to repent publicly and swiftly. You need to admit the many sins and scandals you have caused and tell the world you were wrong. You need to lay aside your ego, your need for men, praise by men, for the sake of your own soul and the souls of those who you influence. Amen. What you are doing is evil and wicked. You tear at tradition-minded Catholics and support and uphold sodomites. Do not think the punishment visited on you will not be of the most severe when you die, perhaps even before you die, if you do not change. 
You need the humility to publicly recognize your sin, admit it, repent of it, and resign your office now. And for the record, any other bishops in the United States who have lost their faith need to step aside as well for the same reasons. The time has come for an authentic Catholic uprising. God love you. I'm Michael Boris.